Hello, we are Craig and Janice, and welcome back to another edition of Cruising Off Duty. As you know, if you've been following along, we're at the Annapolis Sailboat Show, checking out catamarans. This is our eighth episode of the series. We started off the series talking about the mass production boats, those made by Lagoon, Leopard, and Fontaine Peugeot. The last episode, we started with our very first boat from what we call the custom catamarans, the ones that are designed specifically for liveaboards. It was called the Exquisite X5, and if you haven't seen that episode, you really need to go back and check it out. We brought you on a full guided tour walkthrough of the entire boat and all the features, and let's just say we loved it. In this episode, we're taking you on two more catamarans that are about the same size. First, there's the Bally 4.3, and then there's the Maverick 440. One of these catamarans we liked, and one, well, not so much. So stay tuned and see which is which. Okay, so the next boat is a Bali 43. They call it a Bali 4.3. All right, let's go check it out. This is a, a flybridge. But... Yeah, so this is the flybridge model. Let's just give that a pan. Flybridge from up top, and then you got some solar panels built around some back paddle. Okay. But there's no dodger at all. Like this is a very yeah. easy. Uh, yeah, it's just a little bit of sunshade from the top, but there's no. Uh, there's no Dodger in front of you to stop no the wind. Whatsoever. Wide here though. Yeah, it's a nice wide deck. Not a lot of hatches going on. Oh, you're there right. She is. Caught that already. There's like usually, usually there's hatches along the top here. We'll have to see what it looks like on the inside. But this I remember this from last season. So they don't have a trampoline, they just have all deck. Yeah. So you've got tons area. of sitting and padded area. You know, I definitely see the pros of that. You got a lot more. Yeah, it would appeal to some, but Yeah. It adds a lot of weight to the boat, I'm assuming, because now instead of a, a net, you've got like fiberglass and structure. Bigger seats in the in your, your princess seat, Janice, is much bigger, and their hatches are recessed flat, so you don't uh, stub your and toe. And they're well surrounded, so I can safely sit on here without being blown off by a wave. Yeah, like I almost was. <laughs> yeah, it's like she she almost got knocked <laughs> into the ocean on our charter. Go back and watch that; it was hilarious. Good times, good times. Anyway, back to the show. So then you got the padded, this is like a massive area of padding. And then, oh, look, the front front window is open completely. That would be some awesome airflow. That's a nice feature. Okay, let's continue around. And just like Janice mentioned, we'll have to look on the inside to see why there's no hatches anywhere along this area. we've seen one of you yes okay so you look at this thing on the ceiling that is actually like a garage door that kind of pivots down and closes so that all this area that's now outdoor seating would become indoor seating <laughs> and then you have this nice really nice wood table right. you know, full size like house fridge everybody out of Craig's way he's filming <laughs> You recognize me, did you? I'm good at getting locked. I think it's locked. Oh, no, it's locked. They, they don't want you to see their food. This, it's got a child yeah. lock on it. Oh, yeah, so for children like Janice. Of course, you can go. I can't get anything like that. Oh, I have to wait too old to get out of here. Oh, no. Okay, so this is a, you know, okay, Kevin, the walls are right beside it, though. So there's not a lot of cabinetry. No, there's not much going on in here. No. And the very tiny head here. So it's a yeah. shower over the back of the toilet. Very tiny. Yeah. A little head with a little sink and shower. Oh, yeah, the shower's right there. So, yeah, it's not quite what we're expecting. This is a 43 foot boat. It's not a tiny boat. No. Why does it feel so small? It really feels really small. Yeah, for 43. 
Yeah, for a 43 foot boat, this is very, very small. Like, very small. And quite, like, no, no. Where there's like no, no cabinetry. Light, uh, like, no upper, upper. And my portals. headroom. And my headroom. No headroom. You look at me, I'll turn it around. Look at my headroom. It's not very high. And this oh, is, I, I bang my head on this. So, it's not just small width wise, it's small height wise. Yeah. This is very close to the Nautitic that we rented. Yeah. Except for there's two. Except for there's two heads. Yeah. There's two heads. Yeah. Yep. And so the next thing is the. Cruising off yeah. duty. Yes. I love your I love your Thanks videos. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Hi. Thank you so much. You're <laughs> wonderful. Thank, Thank you. you. Comparing catamarans is yes. sort of a thing about these shows. So. I know. I love the ones that you guys did last year. Oh, I'm great. interested to see if you like the well, Pontaine Pachos were the ones you liked last year, and then you decided you didn't. Lagoon yeah. became our favorite yeah. production yeah. last year. Yeah. So. And the beer's coming in nicely, by the way. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm still on the fence. Whether it makes me look too old because it's so white. You don't get to decide. She no, gets she's to the one. Like so. Okay, so then it's staying. He's like, I don't think I like the beard. I love it. So, so yeah, it's staying. I think I'm going to have to do a poll online if people think I look better with the white beard or not. This is cool. So this is double sink. Yeah, one full size, like, one yeah. partial. Like this? And it's nice that this opens because look, it's hard to tell there's not a glass there, but there's no glass, which means you get good airflow. And well, that's a nice feature. Oven. Oven on this side. Microwave. Microwave on this side. There's at least lots of counter. Lots of counter space. Yeah. The steps aren't too steep. The steps are they're not too steep. No, they're no, they're good. Acceptable. Yeah. Some of them are. Some of the boats have very steep steps, and you feel like you got to hold on when you're going down. You got to wipe out. So this side is identical. All yeah. It's kind of small with not, no storage on the side. I yeah. assume there's underbed drawers. Yeah, there's probably there's underbed. I can see them now. There's underbed drawers, but that's it. Nothing much on the side. Uh, and no port lights. Very like, good. I just wonder why not. I don't get it, but whatever. Yeah, you're right. The, oh, yeah, that's why on the deck. There's no hatches in the bedroom, and it is stuffy down there. And then this bathroom yeah. is very, very small. Ah, that's it. When we were walking on the deck, we were wondering why there's no hatches. And now that we're down here, we realize because the bedrooms don't have hatches. This one up here has a tiny hatch. Mm -hmm. Tiny. But you can definitely feel it. Like, it's hot in here, and it's stuffy. Yeah, so... I don't think this is going to be no. on the list of potential books. Not. not. Genesis later might have not. <laughs> okay, we just assumed that 43 would be smaller than their biggest boat they have here. This is actually going to be smaller. This is 40. Bali 40. So we thought the other one felt small. This one's going to feel really small. So it's a kind of a no, it's kind of a not really a sports seat because you can't talk down and then again they don't do trampolines they do padded seating areas which is nice for the I think it's nice, it is nice. because I don't really you think I'd be sitting on the trampoline no. that often no, you won't. and then let's go inside now we know look at the same thing there's no patches so there's gonna be a complete lack of airflow down below. So. Again, we have the same thing, the kind of garage door, for lack of a better term, that swings down and will close and make this what is outdoor seating now, indoor seating. Yeah, it's a Stoa. We saw one of these when we rented a cat. It was a yeah. valley there. Our neighbor had this boat. Yeah. And so the only, like, also the port, the smaller one that they have, the extra counter. Yeah, so it's all, all your counters at the front. So your counter for your, your bathroom, or sorry, your kitchen, is right beside your nav station. So they're really trying to just squeeze everything into one confined area. Now we'll go down here. And I'm believing because there's only a 40, it's only going to have one head. Okay. So one head per side. And it's not, even though there's only one, it's not huge, although it does have its own separate shower. Okay, so you get a separate shower in this one, but you're not getting one head per side per hole on this catamaran. You come in here, and as with the last boat, there's no cabinetry on the side. There's only cabinetry. It's not even cabinetry down there. There's a little there. closet here. There's cabinetry under the bed and, and one closet here. small cabinet here. And it's not even a full, it's angled at the bottom. So you're getting, not getting. So this is actual plastic here. Plastic. Like it's actually plastic. 
Okay. Well, if we didn't love the 43, we're not going to love the 40. It's even smaller. So, yeah, just very, I mean, for 40, uh, you get a 40 Lagoon, it's going to feel way, way, way bigger than this. Yeah. So this is the smaller of the cabins because you're, you know, on the, on the bow. So it's a, not a square bed. It's, it's mm -hmm. starting to get narrow at the top. No cabinets and uh, like no, <laughs> not no. a tech because not a tech had shelving up here. Yeah, like yeah, this and is cabinetry small. inside the bedrooms. Yeah, we believe Bali owns not a tech, so the same company. They just make different models, and we rented a not a tech open forty, which would be this size, and it felt bigger than this. There was seating here too, Remember, or here. Sorry, we had seating here, and, and our galley was over there. Yeah. So. Oh, this is the owner side. Okay, so this is an owner's version. So I mean, that will make it feel a little bigger. So you have your your bed at the back, which is the widest part of the boat, and you have a, little, a single kind of little seat with a desk, and then you have your own, you know, bigger, normal sized, I'd consider reasonable sized bathroom with a separate shower. But you're sacrificing an entire hall to get this. And again, there's no, very little hatches for airflow. No, and the sink is puny. Yes, considering this is the master suite side, that's not a very big sink. The size of my hand compared to the sink. Mm -hmm. right, so it's, it's only the size of my hand, so. I think the big design flaw is no hatches. I mean, the, it's in a hot climate, it's pretty hot today, it will be stifling down. So. And again, they do, the, do this though, they have the lowering front glass that goes all the way down to have airflow. So up here might not be so bad. But down below in the bedrooms, there's no airflow. Okay, hello. We just got off the Bally's. There was a 43 and a 40. So Janice, what did you think? Not for me. No. I knew she was going to say that. Um, some nice features here and there, but mm. a lot of black. Yeah. Way small rooms, no cupboards or cabinets or shelving. Way small. Just small hanging closets and drawers under the bed, and that's yeah. it. No uh, hatches and hardly any natural light down below in the halls. No yeah. airflow. No. no airflow. Headroom was. I'm only six feet tall, but it's still. You it was know, two inches from the ceiling in the room, and he had to duck to get through the. Yeah, to get through the entrances, I have yeah. to duck, which just no, no, you shouldn't. On a 43 foot catamaran, you shouldn't have to duck. No. So no, and lack of airflow was crazy because if you don't have air conditioning, you're gonna die of heat down there because there's no, no hatches in your bedrooms to like get some flow. But there was a few nice features: the roll down door and the front, front window that, area. the front window that would, and that yeah, that big padded seating yeah. area. So there, I'm not saying there's nothing that we liked. It's just that interior volume is important. Live on that for yeah, sure. live aboard. Live Think about that. You living full time with all your possessions on a boat like that, with no storage, <laughs> and just no, no, no. it's not going to work for us. So it's not on our maybe buy no. list, but might be for somebody who's just using it as a, a floating vacation spot so all right so the next ones we're gonna go see is a, a maverick and behind me is the outremer that sailing la vagabond has so we'll go check out what they the swanky digs they get so talk to you in a bit okay so now we're on the maverick 440 which has some nice features to remember from last year it's got the hard glass uh dodger We've got these kind of like racing car seats to sit at to a steer. The captain seats are you feel like you're in a NASCAR car. Of course, in case you forget what kind of boat we're on, there's the uh, logo Maverick. And uh, it's got some really nice features. I remember from last year we liked it. Now here's a downside. I'm walking along and I'm almost bumping into these shrouds that are cut right across. You have to walk inside here to get around the shrouds. So not quite as much uh, deck space, but wow. When we were talking about the balance having no hatches, check out the difference. How many hatches this thing has? It's the opposite. It's, it's airspace, air, you know, airflow in every room to the nth degree. So, it, yeah, some angled sort of like storage units that you could sit on and put your feet down here on the trampoline. But yeah, no spot for putting you know the pre-cut padded seating. Yes, this is probably the best princess seat we've seen yet. And some serious butt space. The hatches are kind of nice too. I mean, I know this on ours. You want airflow and you want light, but you don't necessarily want see through because uh, you're not going to look at the stars from laying in your bed. So having them crazed, you know, like white like that kind of gives they're you some recessed, privacy. Yeah, they're not recessed. Some of the newer boats. 
don't most have boats don't. It seems like only the thing. very, very newest have started this yeah. this thing of having completely flat hatches that recess into the into the deck, so there's no way you can stub your toe on them. So all the ropes are on the deck, yeah. as opposed to the exquisite where it was hiding everything under the deck. This one's everything's on top of the deck, but at least they have this area here to catch the ropes for you. You have to come out here. Yeah, you just notice that. Mm-hmm. Because you're steering from the opposite side over there, and you know, they're showing you this nice you know, canvas to cover it. But now you're going to be out here to, to <laughs> winch in your sails. So keep that in mind. You don't get to do it from the comfort of your NASCAR seat. So, so we've got this kind of uh, faux wood flooring. It's kind of, so you're sitting from quite low. So that's something. And you, this, we've got a big dining area. No, the seat, the table out here is very, it's like a two-person, maybe three-person table. I think Janice, like last year, was the beautiful cherry wood in here. But obviously they devoted more of the square footage to the interior. Yes. Much less to the exterior. Yeah, so you're talking about the camera system. Yeah, the, the exterior is very small, but the interior is taking up most of the So show them what you like. I love the wood. Okay. The table's big. Yes. So it folds out to make it extra big. There's another day bed over there. Yeah, it's like a lounging bed if you want to take a nap. Yeah, and then the galley, go show them the galley the floor. Yeah, the floor is nice. They do. And then, and here was here. Yeah, they're here. Okay. There we are. Laundry. Yeah. Laundry. That's your lounge. Your My laundry room. Is in your galley. Oh, it says don't open cabinets or drawers. Okay. I, I like the black. It's very elegant. Yeah. Double sink, but full size double, double sink. Double full size sink, so that's nice. So there's lots of galley. This, this is good. I, I like this. You don't need a huge exterior space for two people. I like, I like this, this interior volume. It's just like a house in here. Yeah. The way it's laid out. And there's lots of cabinets. I love the dark countertops. It's very elegant looking. It's got a full double sink. Mm -hmm. Good. Go ahead. Okay. Full double sink. Stove and oven here. And my coffee station. Another sink. Oh yeah, like a bar sink over there. Yeah, microwave. <coughs> Okay. Just a little We are in the downstairs cabin. I'm gonna sit on this little padded chair this year. It's so nice. It's like old fashioned looking. Yeah, the wood's really nice. And the you know, you got some space on either side of the bed, although there's no storage. We've mentioned that on a few other boats that they This don't. one has. There, yes, yes. So you do have some there. I'm just saying over here, you know, instead yeah. of they're trying to give you some some room to walk on the side yeah. of the bed instead of giving you more cabinets than on this side. This is an owner's version, so obviously you Very get the nice wood cabinets. Huge closets. You, you know, if you, if you put it with both, you need to Ooh, it's like a, you need to add a beautiful... Oh, this is the one with the tub here. Yeah, Jess. You know, is that a selling feature? I don't know. It looks not big enough for me, really, to sit in. Yeah, so it's kind of weird. It's sort of, is it a selling feature or is it not a selling feature? If you have children. It's a yeah, if you have children <laughs> and you want to sit them in a tub, that's Save a selling them. feature. Small kids. But it takes up a lot of space if you, you're not going to use it. Then it's but it's still like a shower. I mean, it's a big shower. Yeah, it's a shower with... But is it a standing shower? Yeah. Let me stand inside here. Yeah, we saw that. See, yeah. I'm uh, banging my head here, so it's not. Uh, my wife was impressed. Yeah. It's not super tall. This is open, thank goodness. I guess yeah. that's what they're thinking you're going to do, but your, your shower head's here, so it's lower than my head. Yeah. You have to bend down. But, yeah. anyways, it's doable. So, this is the owner's side, and I'm assuming on the other side, that's the nice instrument panel. would be the traditional two bedroom. So, let's go check that out. Okay, so we just got out of the Maverick 440. Yeah. What do you think? I, a lot of things I like about it. Far more things I like than, than this light. I mean, it, mm -hmm. Yeah, I doubt we'll ever find one of those yeah. used and purchasable. I don't think but they make enough I, in a year. It's very pretty. Yeah. Very pretty. I really like the, obviously, the major advantage of it is the huge galley, which includes the laundry room. And, you know, it felt like a little apartment in there. You know. mm -hmm. And the wood is beautiful. Yeah. The wood is beautiful. Well, and they got a lot, of, a lot of hatches, but there's some downsides too. You have to change your sails and winches yeah. on the outside of where you sit. So you got to go outside of your your um, canvas area to winch in your sail or do any of that. So it's got some downsides too, but it's it's definitely uh, very pretty. Pretty, yeah. It's kind of one of those things. If it was 
on sale used and we saw it and we were looking to buy, we'd, we'd consider this one. Yeah. All right. On to the next one, probably the Majestic 530. Okay, so that's the end of this episode. Quite clearly, we like the Maverick 440 much better than either of the Bally's. Hopefully you liked the episode. If so, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe because we got more reviews coming up. The very next episode is going to be the Majestic 530. And just a little heads up here, we love that boat as well. For totally different reasons than we love the Exquisite X5. We got an individualized walkthrough on that boat with all the features explained to us. So that's going to be a full episode on its own. And until next time, this is Craig and Janice signing off, wishing you safe cruising.